Okay. We'll take a little break. We'll be back. Hey, everybody. It's Love Line. Engineer Anderson is going to find the uh, airplane turbulence public service announcement. Because let me say something, everyone. And be, i got to be quite honest with you all. I, it's my job to take your calls and try to help you and do that every night. No, it's my job to help you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's right. It's Drew's job. It's part of my job. But I need to entertain myself as well. Otherwise, I won't be. You, you know, it's like yeah. you got to let your employee play a little hacky sack every once in a while in the hall so he yeah, can be more productive. In these creative environments where they put, like, basketball hoops in the middle of the office. And, yeah, right. This is that for you. Right. I need to go off on this airplane turbulence public service announcement, which we have not heard in, what, two years oh, on no. this show? Oh, I've heard it in the background a number of times. Oh, I've just not caught it. I've been right. out. Reed's just not been listening. It's yeah. been around? Yeah, yeah. Well, I caught it this time. How, how long has it been away? Anderson. Okay. All right. Leave it was, it was gone away. for like a year and a half. I just Really? Yeah. I swear to God, I've heard it. I've heard no. it. It's been gone. Is when, it, is, when has there been it? a different one? A, a different no. airplane turbine? I just brought it back like a month ago. Uh, a month ago. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, there you go. All right. All right. Now, do you have it, Anderson? Because I, I would like to critique this for a second. Please, we're not going to help anyone. First of all, anyway. let's let's just guess how much money was spent developing this thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. But they, what they do... But your tax dollars go into crap like Right, this. right. Well, I, I, it doesn't matter whether it was a nickel or $5 million. It's too much. Here's the point. The scary thing is probably more than $5 million. No, it is not. To produce a public service announcement... And then do they pay to put them out? Well, the stations have to do it. They have to play a certain amount of these things. Here's the deal. In order to keep your FCC license, you have to play a certain amount of these public service announcements. These are things that are put together by different organizations in order to sort of better the community that the radio station serves. And that's great. They're talking about AIDS. And, of course, you know, the only cure for AIDS is what? A cure? Yes. Uh, don't get it. Don't get it. Not getting the AIDS. Right. So they have brilliant little aphorisms like that. <sighs> But they come out with them, and some make sense. Now, I would like to just yell, hey, listen, all you uh, mongoloids, stop breeding. That would be my PSA, and let's get that morning after pill going. But, no, they want to talk about er airplane turbulence, which, to my knowledge, is not a big social problem in this country. Drew, are you aware if anyone's ever been injured? Everyone close your eyes. Here's what I'd like you to well, do. Well, you know, when you go on planes, uh, they usually don't give you any instruction about... Oh, no, no. I was on a flight just the other uh, week where they mentioned something about a seatbelt. Drew, you're oh, wrong. Oh, oh, what? See, it's called a seatbelt. Yeah, she uh, talked into that thing that uh, the, with the speakers in the PA cabin. System, yeah, PA yeah. system, She said something about a seatbelt. Seatbelt? It's this thing that, you, you know what you have in your car? Or it goes around your lap. Oh, oh, oh. They got oh. that in airplanes, too. You shut the door, it goes across. That's yeah. right. They don't talk about it much. Probably mm. only between 750 and 800 goddamn times when you get on an airplane. So they come out with PSAs like the following. Anderson? What and, a tough thing your it, body is. Anderson, can it's you stop this? Extend. Ben? Can we go back and forth with this? I'd really like to break this thing down. Can we start from the top here? All right, I'll tell you when to hold it. All right. What a tough thing your body is. All right. It's built to withstand bending. Right. Pinching. Ouch. Tattooing. Oh. Swimming. Bumping. Tickling. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving. They changed it. Wow. Yeah, it's a different one. Childbirth. Oh. Hey, there we go. Oh. Football. Bad cooking. Rollerblading. 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 Even company meetings. All right. But there's something the human body isn't built to withstand. Uh huh. Unexpected turbulence. All right. Happily now stop built. it there. Stop it there. Now let me just shoot a hole in this PSA premise, which is, and I would like to talk to the mother efforts that make this thing, because I guarantee there are more injuries in football, Pop Warner High School, college, junior college, and at the pro level. I guarantee that there are 1,000 injuries for every one injury caused by airplane turbulence in just football. So, you bring up the goddamn thing that causes more injuries than the thing you're going to warn us about? Yeah. Yeah. In your example? How about rollerblading? What kind of son of tard are you? 
Yeah. I guarantee that if you combine football and rollerblading, it would dwarf the amount of injuries that happen during airplane turbulence. Uh, Infantesimal. Infantesimal. Yeah. Why is that your why is that your example? Why? Why in your example? Yeah. yeah. Why put two things Why that... not just put uh, uh, motor vehicle accidents? <laughs> you you're meant to withstand motor vehicle accidents or auto right. versus pedestrian. Why not cancer? Yeah. Cancer. Why not just put the goddamn cancer in yeah. there or heart disease everybody? Yeah. Okay. So, now, everyone close your eyes and and think about anyone you've ever known has been injured via airplane turbulence. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna expand that. Anybody you've heard of, any celebrity, any dignitary, any public figure, any ah, here's a good example. Uh, pro athletes, Los Angeles Lakers flying back and forth to Philadelphia. Baseball teams play 85 games a year on the road. Millions and millions and millions of miles logged every year by professional athletes. Is there ever heard of one of them who could not make the game because of turbulence? As opposed to the injuries they incur while playing the games, such as football. Yes, yes. Uh, half of the Philadelphia 76ers are not playing in the series because of injuries, not because of our airplane turbulence. And, uh, yes, get to the uh, get around uh, playoff time in the football season. Check the roster out. Should we hear the rest of this? See how many of them are related to airplane turbulence. But let's go ahead, Anderson. Happily, though, planes are built to withstand that really well. Uh-huh. All you have to do is wear your safety belt the entire flight. Hold on. What so is this new? Wait, no, they changed the name. I'm confused. Safety belt. Safety belt. What, what is this magic? Seat belt. What is this new innovation? How come it's never been brought out when I was on the airplane? I've never heard tale of this. How would you use it? I'll tell you what. I, I spend my entire flight in a lotus position upside down on my seat <laughs> drinking, and I've never been told otherwise. Never had anybody... That, yeah. There's no goddamn light that comes. What about that noise that the pilot kicks the thing ding, on ding, and yeah. off? The pilot said you can take your seatbelt off, but go back to your seat. Go. Does he have to explain landing. to them what to do? He must. Uh, yeah, the keep, se- safety belt. Keep, huh? keep going, Anderson. This is where your taxpayer dollars are going, everybody. So next time you fly, stay buckled up uh-huh. the whole time. Uh-huh. Because uh-huh. after all, turbulence uh-huh. happens, and uh-huh. you're just not built for it. No. This no. message is a public service of no. this state. Now, no. everyone knows that being jostled in a padded seat is far worse than being blindsided by 270-pound linebackers <laughs> blitzing or running into a, a lamp post when you're rollerblading. Of course. That is the worst goddamn PSA I've ever heard in my life. And the only thing worse than that is the uh, 50,000 people who die every year from secondhand smoke. I would like to get those two people who constructed those PSAs to get together and have a class action lawsuit against them on behalf of radio stations and, and yeah, their we, consumers. We could be spending more time on airport laptop computer theft, after all. That is the other PSA that drives me through the effing roof. Please. I, I don't know who these groups are. Is there some lobby group for turbulence? I, I, what is going on? Is, is, are the, is that the biggest fish we have to fry in this country? Airplane turbulence? We got junkies. We got school shootings. We got unemployment. We got, uh, we, we got domestic abuse. That's all we can talk about. And laptop theft at the airport with McGruff. Oh, wait till I'm in charge. Wait till I'm in charge. Okay, I'm going to pee. All right, me too. We'll be back. Hello, this is your radio. Radio. Love line will be right back. Uh, Where do you keep your wallet? Up your ass, you mutt! Hey, 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 hey. Yeah? Love line? Hey, yeah. for those of you that are interested in Dr. Bruce and the tattoo removal and the uh, skin rejuvenation, the, uh, the wrinkle removal system right. he's got, it's a 888-340-7790. Good time. 888-340-7790. He's L.A.-based. For those of you around the country, this is Los Angeles. Number yeah. it's 888-340-7790. Oh, let, let me get another fart. 888-340-7790. That stinks, too. Oh, yeah, come that's on. psychosomatic. Oh, no. no. <laughs> no. You, heard, <laughs> you heard the sound and you're no. reacting. Oh, that was a placebo oh, fart. You're a God. doctor. Uh, All right, so until next time, uh, Colt tomorrow night, everyone. This is Adam Crow for Dr. Drew saying, Mahalo. Born gay, the life is to live gay.